Welcome back YouTube family. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to connect your Sony a6400 to Camlink 4K or any external capture card device. Let's get right into it. What you're going to need is a dummy battery, a 4K capable micro HDMI to HDMI cord, and an Elgato Camlink 4K. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to connect your Sony a6400 to your Camlink and the best settings to use for live streaming and recording. In the first camera settings option, go to page 5 and change focus mode to continuous AF. Then on the second camera settings option, change exposure mode and set it to manual exposure. After that, change file format to XAVCS 4K. I do this because I like to record in 4K, but for now, I'll leave it on XAVCS HD. I'm doing this in order to continue showing you my screen. Now we change record settings to 25p and 100m. This is to record movie quality and video. Then head to the next page and change AF drive speed to fast, AF tracking sense to responsive. Next head to network settings, go to control with smartphone and switch it to off. Once we did that, we go to our settings options page five and go to page four and go to our HDMI settings. We're going to change our HDMI resolution to either 4K or 1080p, depending on your recording preferences. Then we're going to go to HDMI info display and turn that to off. Like I said, I'm going to keep it on so I could continue showing you my display. This is so you don't have all the camera information on screen when you're sending the signal to your computer. Now we're going to go back and go all the way back to page two, change our auto power off temp to high. This is so it doesn't overheat and shut off on you. I forgot to mention, go to NTSC slash PAL selector, change it to NTSC to be able to use the camera in 4K at a higher frame rate than 24 frames per second. Okay, make sure your cam link is in a USB 3.0 port and make sure there's nothing else plugged next to it. Then make sure the HDMI cable is plugged into the cam link and the micro HDMI end is plugged to your camera. Next, make sure your dummy battery is in and connected to power. Go to the Elgato website, I'll leave a link in the description. Find Elgato Camera Hub and click download. And then click continue with download. Once it's downloaded, open it up, install it wherever you need to. Now open up Elgato Camera Hub once it's finished downloading. Hold control, click on the three lines and update firmware. Mine is already up to date, but once yours is done and it tells you to plug in everything, go ahead and plug in everything. On a side note, if the firmware update does mess up your cam link and the light isn't turning on, but it's getting registered in device manager, leave a comment down below and I'll make a video on how to fix that. Now let's open up OBS. I'm going to add a source, video capture device, name it anything you want. Go to device and look for cam link 4K. And that's how you set up the Sony A6400 to OBS. Thank you guys for watching.